I think so much comes down to dissolving or dismantling shame, right? I mean, shame is what what holds us back from fully showing up in the world. Shame is what holds us back from admitting our own weakness and complicity, and which is such a starting point for being able to engage in those really hard conversations around race and violence and, and how we all participate in some ways in, in um, oppressing others. Um, but it's also, I, I mean, it's hopeful, I think, that maybe it's a generational thing where people in our generation and, and also with thought leaders like Brene Brown and Ursula Menekam, you know, we're looking more and more um, clearly and openly at, at things like shame and vulnerability and inherited trauma. Um, because this word trauma too, you know, I think for older generations um, carries so much more stigma. And I think for younger generations, we're starting to understand more how so many of us experience trauma, whether that's trauma with a capital T or little t, you know, and then this idea of inherited ancestral trauma of um, just patterns and legacies of, of, and so much of that inherited ancestral trauma is tied to silence and shame, right? If, if it's only going to be inherited, if it's something that's like bottled up and not spoken about and not released and not made amends for.